G'day guys, my name is Caleb, otherwise known as a Critic Kebab, and we've got another Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Uh, this is a movie that I'm obviously really looking forward to, uh, now that Avengers Endgame has finally been released and we've got all the secrets revealed from that, uh, we're going to see what the next chapter is in the MCU, uh, obviously through uh, Spider-Man. And obviously I love the character, and based off the last trailer, which I really loved, uh, it was a great trailer, we obviously got our first look at Mysterio. And he's a character that I'm so excited to see uh, on the big screen uh, for the first time. Uh, so let's just get straight into the trailer right now. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come Ooh. up. But if you well, have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. I'm going to enjoy this trailer. Everywhere I go, I see Ooh. his face. He's really he's still, still yeah, in the I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Whoa! You going to be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. What? Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. Oh, that's cool. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. The phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. <laughs> What's up? We're just talking That's about That's funny. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ Ooh. really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider Man. I'm so excited to see this Spider Man and Nick Fury work Man. together. We could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. A snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying that's what? a multiverse? We have a job to do. And you're coming with us. Multiverse? Oh, okay. There's gotta be wow. Use. Where about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. Hell oh, yeah. Peter. Yes, it looks back. awesome. The girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right. What? You may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Save me oh. your sacrifice. Wow. Times people die. Oh my god. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Whoa! Wow! I love the music. Whoa! Get out of here! Get on the jet! Who are you? I work with Spider Man. You work for Spider Man? I work with Spider Man, not for Spider Man. New plan. Wow. Okay, dude, okay, I'm really excited to see this whole character journey that Spider-Man is really going on. Obviously, based off Spider-Man Homecoming, Tony Stark had a, like, a really pivotal role in that movie because it really set Peter Parker on the path that he was on, and obviously that was built upon in Infinity War, and then a little bit again uh, at the end of Endgame, and we're getting into multiverse, that's really... That's really interesting. And that's something I wasn't expecting the MCU to really delve in, dive into too much. Um, but based off this, obviously Mysterio is from another dimension or something. Another Earth, which is interesting. And based off the way they're selling his character off these trailers, it sounds like he's going to be a good guy to start with. Um, I, I, I really hope it's they do something more clever with that character than him being a good guy and then turning evil up towards the end of the movie. Um, because anyone who's obviously read a comic book or knows anything about the character knows that he's obviously one of Spider-Man's main bad guys. So I really hope it's not as simple as that and there's something more going on with the Mysterio character. But regardless, he looks absolutely phenomenal. He just looks straight out of the comic books, which I absolutely love. He has such a weird and, you know, like, colourful design. And I think... Like, the MCU has built its this universe 
and now we can get away with silly stuff like this, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to Jake Gyllenhaal as uh, Mysterio uh, in this movie, which is uh, super, uh, super exciting. Uh, obviously, Nick Fury, and looks he's going to be playing another pivotal role in this movie. Um, he's going to be the one that kind of sets Spider-Man on this, you know, adventure, really, um, taking place in Europe and kind of, you know, connecting him with Mysterio and stuff. So uh, I'm interested to see what Nick Fury's role is and how he's dealing with everything that's happened after Endgame. And obviously, the, the what this trailer really deals with is obviously the death of Iron Man, the death of Tony Stark, and his absence from this world. Um, and I think Spider-Man really has to ascend uh, into that Avengers type role that he's been deemed now based off Infinity War. Um, for me personally, I prefer Spider-Man as the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, um, less so as the A-list Avenger. Uh, in saying that, uh, I'm excited to see what they do in this movie and uh, where they take the character next, because obviously it looks like he's still uh, wearing the uh, Iron Spider suit, which I absolutely love. Uh, and based off this, this what we've seen from this movie so far, it looks like he's getting a few different suits, which I'm not a super big fan of. I obviously love the classic uh, red and blue design, uh, but regardless, I just want to see what the story is with regards to it, uh, what the context is behind it, um, and just to see why we're doing what we're doing, honestly. Obviously, we've got this crazy dimensional, extra-dimensional beings coming uh, into our, our world and attacking Europe and stuff, which is obviously where Spider-Man is. And uh, we'll see what happens. But regardless, uh, I'm liking the tone. Uh, the music is phenomenal. And, oh, man, the MCU is a hype train that just continues to just drive at the f highest of speeds. And with... Endgame breaking all the box office records and another Spider-Man movie on the way. I, I could not be uh, more excited. Uh, obviously, I want to hear from you guys now. Uh, are you excited for Spider-Man Far From Home? I know it's another Spider-Man movie amongst the uh, <laughs> tons of Spider-Man content uh, that we're getting. Uh, but regardless, I'm super excited as an MCU fan and a Spider-Man fan. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down uh, of the trailer down in the comments below. Uh, and if you like this reaction, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe. So you don't miss out on any of my other content. Uh, as always, I just want to say thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in another video.